What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we're here to take a look at one of my favorites. This is a 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 63S 4Matic Plus SUV. Yes, that is a long name. And notice I did specify this is an SUV because there is a coupified version out on the streets. Looks a little bit different in the back, has kind of funky proportions. We'll cover that in a different video. But this is an awesome machine. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, the GLE is one of the best mid-size luxury vehicles on the market. It's been out for quite some time. Now you guys might remember this from the 90s and the early 2000s as the ML class. If you've seen Jurassic Park 2, you've definitely seen the ML before. But don't get it twisted. This is an absolute beast compared to the ML55 from back in the day. This is an amazing performance SUV. Don't let it sleek looks fool you. Now this color is called Brilliant Blue. The interior is phenomenal. It's finished in a Designo Macchiato beige with black Napa leather. It is amazing. So today, let's check out the exterior and interior details of this GLE 63S and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Taking a look at the front of this GLE, of course you're getting over the top aggressive styling. I think it looks great. If you look at the hood, it has two huge power bulges which I think is definitely justified because underneath this hood is the Mercedes AMG M177 power plant. That is a four liter bi-turbo V8 that's been handcrafted. Output from that is 603 horsepower at 5,750 RPM all the way to 6,500 RPM. And then you're getting 627 pound-feet of torque from the engine speeds of 2,500 RPM to 4,500 RPM. Now this is connected to an AMG SpeedShift 9-speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 occurs in just 3.7 seconds for a mid-sized SUV. That is insane. Now on top of that, this power plant has been coupled with the Mercedes-Benz EQ Boost system, which is essentially a starter generator system. That's gonna eliminate your engine ancillaries, such as your water pump and your AC compressor, and then of course, your accessory belt as well. Now that is gonna provide 184 pound feet of torque. Now, why would you need that? That's gonna help get you that smooth and linear acceleration. On top of that, the M177 features the Mercedes AMG hot inside V configuration. And there are a couple key benefits to that as well. First of all, you're getting a compact package. And then second of all, you're getting an overall more efficient and powerful design. And then third and most importantly is that the compressed charge from the turbo has a short distance to travel from the turbo to the cylinder banks due to the fact that the turbos have been placed inside the valley of the V, which is why it's called the hot inside V configuration. This is an incredible machine. Now, in addition to that, this GLE 63S also features the AMG dynamic engine mounts. How do those engine mounts work? Well, those engine mounts are filled with a magnetorheological fluid. Now that fluid is subjected to a magnetic field by the use of an electromagnet. Why would you wanna do that? That's gonna allow you to be able to change the characteristics of that fluid by altering the viscosity and the overall yield strength, thus allowing you to change the way the fluid is able to transmit force. That's gonna give you that ultra crisp handling that the GLE 63 is known for. Now, in addition to that, you have AMG cylinder management. It's able to shut down four cylinders. It does it seamlessly and smoothly. As a matter of fact, I've had this car for a few days and when the engine goes to four cylinders, it's just, you, you can't even notice it when driving it in comfort mode. And I think that's really neat. Now on top of that, another major factor I like about the EQ Boost system here is the fact that when you use the start stop function in eco mode, when you're ready to go, the car doesn't do this judder. It's able to seamlessly cut that engine back on and you're able to smoothly go about your business. It really works well. A lot of cars that feature that eco start stop function on the market give you this judder every time the engine cuts on and off. That can get really annoying. That's not gonna be found here on the GLE 63. Now, if you look in front of the power plant, you'll notice you have a carbon fiber reinforced radiator support bracket. They use carbon fiber to reduce the amount of weight that's ahead of the front axle to keep this SUV as balanced as possible. It also doubles as your cowl induction system as well. I think that's pretty neat. So enough with what's underneath the hood. Let's go back to the front. You have the Mercedes-Benz multi-beam LED headlamps with, of course, the daytime running lamps as well. Coming towards the center, you have that aggressive 
AMG Panamericana grille. That's my favorite aspect about these AMG cars. And then coming to the lower front fascia, you have the AMG A-Wing. I love the aggressive sculpting here, especially with the silver accents. Looks great against the brilliant blue. Let's go ahead and check out the side profile. When it comes to the side profile, the aggressive looks continue. And most of that is thanks to these beautiful 22 inch AMG forged cross spoke wheels with the aggressive and meaty sized brake rotors with the huge six piston red AMG brake calipers. I think that looks stunning. I love how that red just jumps out at you. Now those wheels also look great against this brilliant blue paintwork. Now the silver theme continues with your window surrounds and your aluminum roof rails as well. But this just looks spectacular overall. Now you notice you do have a 4MATIC Plus badge, meaning that this is all wheel drive, but that 4MATIC Plus system is able to channel most of the torque to the rear wheels, giving you that sporty handling you've come to know and love from ANG vehicles. Speaking of handling, the GLE 63S features self-leveling AMG Active Ride Control. And what that's gonna do is eliminate the body roll that you would typically experience in an SUV. How does it do that? Well, it uses electromechanical actuators in the front and rear anti-roll bars. So while driving this car aggressively, let's say on a country road, it's gonna keep the overall body as flat as possible. Now the ground clearance in standard driving modes is typically around seven and a half inches. You can raise this vehicle up to 10 inches of ground clearance, or if you're in Sport Plus or race modes, it's gonna drop the ride height about 0.4 inches. Now let's go ahead and check out the rear. When it comes to the back of the GLE 63S, you're still getting those aggressive looks. It looks mean and planted because that rear track is 67.7 inches wide. Now you're also getting Mercedes-Benz latest design language with the trapezoidal LED tail lamps. I love the integration of the details inside the tail lamps as well. Now, when you open the rear hatch, of course, we have to talk about storage. This is an SUV after all. With the rear seats up, you have 33.3 cubic feet of storage. You can drop the second row from the second row. You can't do it from the back here, but once you drop the second row, you have 74.9 cubic feet of storage. To close the hatch, simply press this button here. It does it all automatically, what you would expect from a vehicle of this magnitude. Coming lower, you have your AMG exhaust system, which features quad tips. Let's give that a listen and then go check out the interior. The interior of this GLE 63S is phenomenal. I'm loving the macchiato beige Napa leather. And then on top of that, you had the black Napa leather accents, and then you had the Dynamica headliner. This is just plush. This is a true luxury vehicle. You could tell just looking around the thought that went into the overall design. Starting at the top of the dash, you had that smooth black Napa leather again. And then coming lower, you have dual 12.3 inch display screens. These are beautiful. You have one for your instrument cluster and then one for your infotainment system, which features the latest and greatest in technology. You have your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, tons of features here, tons of sub menus. You have your comfort menu, track pace, AMG performance, vehicle settings. It goes on and on and on. This also features the MBUX system. So I could say things like, hey, Mercedes, Turn on the driver's side seat massage. And just like I'm that, switching on the massage on the driver's seat. I get a massage, not even by using the touch screen. So there are multiple ways to use this system here. You can use the touch screen. You have controls on your steering wheel. You have a control in the center console here. You have voice commands, multiple ways to use the same thing. I think that's phenomenal. Now, when it comes to the interior ambient lighting in low light conditions, this interior looks like a club. You have 64 different colors that you could choose from. So they truly did their thing when it came to the overall styling and execution of the interior. Coming lower, I have four air conditioning vents here, beautiful wood trim, ambient lighting, controls for my air conditioning system. And then in the lower portion of this center console here, I have wireless charging and then USB ports as well. Two heated and cooled cup holders. And then coming further back, a trackpad. 
this all goes together so well and nicely. You have your AMG dynamic select button, your parking pilot assist, and then different controls, fast touch buttons if you don't like using the touchscreen for your navigation, radio, media, and telephone as well. Also volume control here as well. Now coming further back in the center console, you have a button to select for driving in manual mode, which is extremely fun in a 603 horsepower vehicle. You also have your electronic stability control, your vehicle ride height adjustment, and then of course, buttons for your suspension and your exhaust button, which should always be on. Coming further back in the center console, tons of storage, and of course, an additional USB port as well. Now the seats in the GLE are some of the most comfortable seats that I've seen in the game. They feature multiple massage functions in this vehicle here. You have three levels of heating, three levels of cooling, industry standard, and of course they get the Mercedes-Benz active multi-contour seat treatment as well. So it's gonna keep you nice and planted in the center of the seat. You see the aggressive side ball string here, but they're just beautiful with the diamond stitching, the perforations, the AMG badge, everything just looks super plush. Even the headrest looks nice. This is just amazing here. Now coming over to the steering wheel, it has the latest and greatest design Mercedes-Benz has been using. This is like the steampunk design. I love the silver accents. Then you have leather on the top and bottom. And then you have Dynamica here on the sides. Now I would suggest going with the carbon fiber option for the steering wheel instead of the Dynamica. The Dynamica looks nice at first, but over time it tends to wear a bit. Now of course you have controls for your instrument cluster and then your infotainment system as well. And then there are two pods here. For your amg dynamic select so if you don't want to use the dynamic select button here you can simply rotate this knob on the bottom of the steering wheel and that allows you to select different driving modes your exhaust setup and your suspension tuning as well i think that's really neat now behind the steering wheel you have two thick meaty aluminum shift paddles for manual shifting really fun to use and of course a fully configurable instrument cluster on that digital 12.3 inch display system as well just phenomenal the latest of tech and the ultimate in luxury found here in the GLE. Now coming over to the door panels, it's covered in this smooth black Napa leather again with beautiful contrast stitching. Look at the Burmester speaker grills here. They just jump out at you with those aluminum accents. Nice and premium to the touch, really just takes the interior up a notch. Even the Burmester speaker on the upper portion of the door is surrounded by ambient lighting. That is just beautiful. Now, of course the seats feature three position memory, three levels of heating and cooling, which you would come to expect. And then there's a button that allows you to control the passenger side seat from the driver's side. That is really convenient. Now coming lower, you have more ambient lighting, additional wood trim, an aluminum door handle, your unlock and lock buttons, of course, controls for all four windows, including the rear shades on the two rear doors there. And then coming lower, you have plastic trim on the lower portion of the door. I do wish that was wrapped in leather, but I'm not gonna gripe about that too much. And of course, there's plenty of storage on the bottom of the door as well. Now, when it comes to the back of the GLE, you can truly take advantage of this enormous panoramic roof that this particular vehicle has been optioned with. Don't get this vehicle without the panoramic roof. You just won't be doing yourself justice. This just takes the interior to another level, makes it feel even larger, gives it a nice and airy vibe to it. Now, there's tons of leg room here. I'm sitting behind myself. I didn't adjust the driver's seat at all and uh, tons of space here. I couldn't ask for more. Now, of course, you have air conditioning back here and USB ports in the rear as well. The seating in the back is pretty comfortable. You can sit back here for quite some time, just stretch out, relax and enjoy the ride. I'm loving this leather back here. Again, the diamond stitching and the perforations. The seats also feature three levels of heating here as well. I wish they had three levels of cooling as well, but unfortunately, uh, at least in this tester, they're just three levels of heating in the back here. But overall, this is a nice place to be. Even the rear windows have their own shades here, just in case you wanna block out uh, some sunlight or have some privacy in the back here. Just goes up nice and then one touch it goes back down but everything in the back here is executed just as well as it is up front the door panels feature that black napa leather again with the contrast stitching you have the ambient lighting the aluminum burr mr speaker grills of course aluminum door handles they didn't skimp out on the rear at all this is truly a luxury suv let's go ahead and get this out on the road
All right, so we're cruising in the GLE 63. Mm, here we are again. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is a super smooth ride. What do you think? I know you love this car, I, I, right? I love it. You know, <laughs> this color combination, the body style, the Mercedes, I love it. The GLE is one of your favorite it's models. It's one of my favorite models. <laughs> it comes neck and neck to my what? Your Bentayga. Exactly. Right, right, right. <laughs> so this car is kind of like almost a jack of all trades because it does everything really well. You have all the technology and comfort you could imagine. Oh, the hey Mercedes, <laughs> turn on the hot back. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Got a little too excited. Go ahead, you turn around for me. Hey Mercedes. Setting the temperature on the front passenger side to maximum. <laughs> well, there you go. Front passenger side to maximum. You should be happy with that. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I wanted that hot stone back massage. <laughs> hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Turn on the passenger side massage. I'm switching on. There it is. Well, there you, happy. There you go. Right. Now we can start. So you the got <laughs> so you got all the tech features, all the safety features, the lane change assist. It even keeps you in the lane if you think you're if it thinks you're drifting into a different lane. Um, this car is loaded. It really is. And there was a time where you couldn't get a vehicle that did all the things you could dream of in one package. And then when that started to become available. You know, the vehicles that could do that weren't as good in one field as they were in another. This ride is comfortable, it's smooth, it's practical, and it's fast, and it does all of that really well. So what do you think about that interior? I like it. Um, you know, I'm, I've always liked that. I think Mercedes was one of the first that did this light. The ambient trim. lighting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, first in the S-Class, yeah. And I really, really like that because as it changed color, like it changed my mood believe it or not <laughs> i kid you not well there is a mood setting in here that you know messes with the colors yeah. the temperature you know even the air fragrance so it's it's it's, I, it's really but other nice. than that i love how what they did the two-toned here got your leather you got some wood trimming here some stitching it's great I it like really it. It, it's a phenomenal car it really is and I think I, I've fallen in love with this thing. I mean, <laughs> even though it's super practical, it's super fun to drive. and Because it's AMG. It's AMG. That's so, why. you know, I'm going to go ahead and use this pod here and switch it to uh, Sport Plus. Okay. You see it changes that, that, on the that's screen. That's the cue for me to hold on. <laughs> All right. So, you're going to have to bear with this I here. I am. Just, just, oh, you know, go, I'm going to switch into manual mode here. Oh, no. <laughs> and oh, then... Oh. Um, I'll drop it, oh. drop it a gear. See how this thing just picks up and the brakes give you so much confidence when you're driving it. Yeah. Hardly any body roll for an SUV, which is surprising. And it's a nice headrest. <laughs> so when your head goes back, it's very comfortable. <laughs> this thing is so much fun to drive and the exhaust sounds amazing. <laughs> you know, and there's it's not much, it's not jerky either. With it's the, smooth, uh, with right? The, with the, the you, power delivery is smooth. Yeah, and with the brakes, it's not jerking me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've have rode in several cars where you pick up speed, but then you press on the brakes, and it's too much jerk. Yeah, yeah. I love the crackles from that exhaust. It sounds amazing. Using the shift paddles behind the steering wheel just. It takes the experience to another level. I, I can't stress that enough. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> and I feel it too. I mean, could you imagine being able to drive this every day? <laughs> oh, that exhaust. Let me do another quick pull again. <laughs> that sounds so cool. The handling is just, it's super crisp. And, you know, part of that is thanks to those dynamic mounts, those AMG dynamic engine mounts that we spoke about earlier. Then you have the all-wheel drive along with that. And 
This isn't a car where they just took a huge power plant and upgraded the transmission and stuffed it in there. There's actually engineering behind this to make mm. it handle well, to make it pleasant to drive. Gotcha. This is an amazing piece of machinery here. So this one is going for about $133,000. Um, it's an expensive vehicle, I'm not gonna lie. But you can get this. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. However, <laughs> You don't have to get the AMG model. You don't, but it's nowhere near as fun, the regular version, <laughs> right? But you got the panoramic roof. Look how huge it is in this car. Look yeah, at that. it's really nice. It's nice. Uh, that's a definite must have if you're gonna get this one. Also, the 22 inch AMG forged wheels are beautiful. Um, they are truly stunning and really bring the side profile of this car to life, honestly. I love how the steering wheel just gives me this awesome sense of control. Some steering wheels in some cars are just too thin. This just feels, uh, this feels just right. It honestly does. So Isha, could you see yourself driving something like this every day? I could. Yeah. When are we going to get it? Ah, uh, see, I asked. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so seating in the back is pretty comfortable. Uh, it's almost as comfortable as these active multi-contour seats up front. Um, you could sit back there for hours. Tons of leg room. Um, and you could take advantage of that panoramic roof as well. Mm -hmm. More so in the back than you can in the front. The seats up front, multiple massage functions, honestly. You see I'm pretty chill. Yeah, I'm you're, you're chilled to, out. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to sleep because it's, you guys, it is hot, relaxing. Oh, it's great. It, it's crazy, right? So let me bring up that menu for you. So there should be a comfort menu here. Of course, I could either use the touchscreen or the trackpad, but look at all these massage options. You have hot, relaxing back, hot, relaxing shoulder, active massage, classic massage, wave massage. Mm. I mean, that's a lot. It's, let me go with the hot, relaxing back. Yeah, let me get that. <laughs> but, I mean, just the technology is... Goodness gracious, this thing moves. <laughs> I love this thing. I love this thing. So, the technology is there. I think that's what I would now, say. <laughs> just... I'm curious, and maybe someone else would be curious, what would this be comparable to? So what's its competitor? Um, something like the BMW X5M would probably be its competitor, BMW okay. X5M. And it's loaded with tech. And yeah, loaded with tech. But, you know, these, these toys are expensive. Mm -hmm. Mercedes-Benz was the first to really start making these performance SUVs. You know, back in the 90s or so, they had like the ML55 and uh, vehicles like that. But there's some competitors, but as far as the interior, um, I think Mercedes has everybody else beat. Uh, when it comes to the mid-sized luxury SUV segment, uh, I really, they're a tough really, act. I really like this, this one. I really this is it. nice. Mm -hmm. This is nice. So that about wraps up this quick driving review. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section. Do you like the looks? Do you like the fact that it's good at a, several different things such as comfort, practicality? You saw the performance. You hear the exhaust system. Um, you got to drive this car really hard to get those snaps, crackles, and pops in that exhaust. Um, but it's just an overall amazing experience. The ride, even in Sport Plus, is super smooth. I will say that. So this is definitely an incredible place to be. Isha, thank you for joining me on this one. We'll close it out here. All right. What an incredible machine. Zero to 60 in just 3.7 seconds. 20 years ago, who would have thought that you could say that about an SUV, especially what was once known as the ML class? What a time to be alive. This car is a complete blast, and I love that AMG exhaust system. Sounds magnificent. I would like to give a special thanks to Mercedes-Benz USA for loaning me this vehicle to review. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity. Please go ahead and send me that new S-Class as soon as you can. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video with a friend. Until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.